Hey, mm-hmm. Gary, you're, Gary, they've got to make a play for Watson, don't you think? I think I think they've got to. Um, you know, I, you know, he's clearly the only guy on that kind of level that's available. Because a guy like that's not going to become available. I mean, you're never going to get a shot at, you know, Mahomes or Allen. They're going to lock those guys up. They're never going to get get a shot at him. All right. We're going to talk about the future of the Eagles. We're going to talk about these phenomenal playoff games. And let's bring in our friend Gary Cobb from Fox 29. Gary, I I, I was just reading everybody some stats here. And before we get into the Eagles here, I want to show you this here. Um, Peyton Manning, 14 and 13 in the postseason, his postseason record. Ben Roethlisberger, 13 and 10. Brett Favre, 13 and 11. Aaron Rodgers, 11 and 10. Russell Wilson, 9 and 8. Kelly, 9 and 8. Breeze, 9 and 9. Steve Young, 8 and 8. Marino, 8 and 10. You know, it's easy to bang on these guys, but there's just certain dudes that expand. We saw that last night's game at Kansas City Buffalo game was exceptional, yep. those two talented guys. But doesn't this show you these records here of some of the greatest players of all time, how difficult it is to win in the postseason? Uh, no doubt about it. I mean, because, you know, and the thing is, it's the elite playing against the elite. You know, that's what we saw in that game. Uh, and I, I think that's the big thing is that you're playing against good teams. You're not playing against any mediocre people. So uh, they were really pushing each other. I mean, you see what Mahomes and, and the kid, man, Allen, you know, they were just going, you know, uh, it's almost like if Allen had the, had the ball again, there's no telling what you were going to see. He was going to do something spectacular. They were really on top of their game. I mean, but really the, the way they, they were pushing each other and the talent and the, you know, I mean, you talk about arm talent. Oh, That's why, you know, you're sitting there. I mean, you know, you, you like, you know, Jalen Hurts. You see the way those guys are throwing the ball. You're going like, are you kidding me? The, what about the side? He almost threw the ball under the guy's arms, man, where you throw a sideline throw like that. And every one of them is right on the money. He's throwing the ball around the guy. And he's putting it right there in the money where that's the only place he could throw it. So he threw it kind of low so Hill could go down there and get the ball. Uh, just really, he's, you know, he's, you know, he's a major, amazing talent. He's shown it for a while. But Allen is doing, I mean, I, I just wonder about him as much as he's running, though. I mean, are you stay healthy. You know, you got to watch. I mean, as big as he is, you see Cam Newton. He's just as big as he is. Uh, Cam has got, you know, Cam is short in his career. So I wonder if they should have Allen running that. But he is a f- phenomenal talent. I mean, with his arm and, you know, size he's got and the, the way he runs with the ball. But uh, Holmes is a special player. I mean, he, he, he's, a, he's a special guy. And with the talent he's got, see, the thing is, they, he's got a lot of talent with him. Because you see, he gets the ball tie kill on the run. He runs by those guys like they're all standing still. He went, I mean... <laughs> You don't see people doing that in the NFL because all those guys can run. He ran by every one of them. <laughs> every one of those guys. Zone. I mean, He's it was like a track. It was like a track meet, Gary. I mean, he 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 yeah. was just unbelievable last night. But you lead me to something here, and I want to throw this at you here with this. With you know, the topic today, we threw this out. Hey, man, we're never going to be in that conversation when you're watching arm talent, like you said. You're never going to be there. Now, we talked about the NFC, and we looked at it like this. Dak Prescott, maybe Kyler Murray, there's really not a lot of young arm talent that's in the NFC right now. They're all loaded over in the AFC. I feel for some reason, though, that the Eagles are dra- the Eagles are like shopping at the dollar store, and some of these other teams are shopping mm-hmm. at Nordstrom's. I mean – and this goes to Hertz here. Do you think Hertz is just a short-term guy, or do you think he's a long-term guy after you watch what you watched over the weekend? Well, you know, I don't, you know, I, I think it depends on what the Eagles get. I'll be honest with you, you know, like, uh, are they looking? Oh, yeah, they're open. You know, I mean, they're going to tell him, yeah, you know, you're our guy. 
uh, Jalen, you are I got. You are I got. And then, you know what? At the time when they're saying it, they're being honest. Right yeah. now, you are our guy. But they don't get into the but because, hey, if Deshaun Watson can clean up his mess, if he starts cleaning up his mess, if you don't think bring Deshaun Watson in here, you got to be kidding. You know, come on, especially they see that display yesterday. They say, this is the NFL. This is the way yeah. the NFL is going to be where you got these quarterbacks, man, gunslingers. And see, I've heard Jeffrey Lurie talk about this. This is where he's at, man. <laughs> he is about the quarterback. And for him to see what they saw yesterday, that's where they're going. And then you look at a kid. We even mentioned Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow's already in the AFC Championship game in his second year. Let's go back to Gary here and get Gary's thoughts here on this. Hey, mm -hmm. Gary, you're, Gary, they've got to make a play for Watson, don't you think? I think I think they've got to. Um, you know, I, you know, he's clearly the only guy on that kind of level that's available because a guy like that's not going to become available. I mean, you're never going to get a shot at, you know, Mahomes or Allen. They're going to lock those guys up. They're never going to get, get a shot at him. Now, because of what's happened with Deshaun Watson off the field, that's the only reason he's available. He would not be available either. So, Because when you get a special talent at that position, they lock it up. And, and you see the way the game is now. Yes, they're protecting the quarterback. That's why Brady got so mad. He got hit in the chin. Look, they're not letting you hurt that quarterback. Look, you hurt that quarterback. We, we think about getting you out of this league. Yeah. They, they do not want you hurting that quarterback. Okay, so everything's around the quarterback. And looking at it yesterday, that type of uh, – Entertainment? Come on. I was I have guys don't even know nothing about football. Oh, that was a great game last night. They don't even know anything because that was great entertainment. And yes. for them to be going at it like that. Okay. So, That's right, Gary. When you see eight hundred yards, you and me are gonna go like this, dude. Eight hundred yards between the two quarterbacks. That's not really a great football game, but it's yeah. highly entertaining. It's highly entertaining. I was entertained. And so if they get a shot at Watson. They could tell you a hundred times, you know, uh, this and that. And that. look, they're going after that kid uh, because he's the only talent out there that you're going to be able to get a chance to go after. And right now, if it, if things were to start moving along, and I know, I, you know, I don't, I, I, I can't say I know personally that this is going on, but I, I can assume folks are talking to lawyers, see if they could get this thing worked out, you know. Um, satisfy the people that need to be satisfied that they this thing will be put to, put away. Then he's the only marquee talent that's available out there where you got a special talent like that who can just put an offense on his back and say, hey, we're scoring, you know. So you can't help but, but just know that, you know, uh, Jeffrey Lurie, he was sitting somewhere salivating. You know, there's no way. I mean, it, uh, that, that was that was that was quite in a quite a performance. And as I said, now you see, you know, you got a guy like Joe Burrow, and then you look over at San Diego. They got the kid out there with the great. Russell Herbert. You got all these, you know, David I mean, Carr. Special. You got What's, Carr. You got Herbert. Yeah. You got Burrow. You. That's right. I mean, you you've got Allen. You've got Mahomes. You know, a lot of them over there in the AFC, man. Look yeah. at all that over there in that AFC. That, then, that, that's what Gary would make it, in my opinion, that's what would make it more intriguing for a guy like Deshaun Watson because think about it. Yeah. If I'm Watson, do I really want to go to the Dolphins or do I want to go to Denver and have to go through Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, yeah. uh, Allen, and Mahomes? Do I want to <laughs> go through that or do I go over to the NFC? Yeah. Brady's 45. He's going to retire. That's Rogers right. may retire. That yep. NFC – may be wide it's, open for finally Dak to get to a conference title game. Yeah. And if you put Watson on that Eagle team, Woo. they'd be in the NFC Championship game this year. That They, they, would, they would be in the NFC Championship game this year. Because, you know, with that running attack and with him, oh, man. You know, you, 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 you definitely got a tough job as a defense. And, you know, I look at Stafford. Stafford's not going to be around for so much no. longer. You know, and so you – you, you know, if you're sitting there and you got the best quarterback in the conference, come on. 
Every year you're in the hunt. Every year you are in the hunt. And so that's what you would want to do if you could do that. And, and, and you, you're the only one sitting there with three first round picks. Now, we hear a lot about a whole lot of things, but I'm telling you, if they got a shot at Watson, he is the only special talent out there that you even have any kind of shot at. And they're not going to give you a shot at those other ones. They're going to lock them up so long with these big contracts, you're not going to get any shot at those other guys. So uh, Let me ask you this, Gary. Let's go here. Um, mm -hmm. Let's go into the Eagles this offseason here. Free agency starts in March before the April draft does. What is the biggest glaring need outside of quarterback and the conversation about the quarterback? In your opinion, what's the biggest need on the Eagles when they look at free agency? There's going to be quite a few names that are out there. Yeah. The cap's going to be at around 208 from what yeah. I'm understanding. Mm -hmm. So if you're out there and you're sitting with those guys in that front office, what's the circle position you want to look at for this team? Uh, an elite pass rusher. You need a guy coming off the corner. I mean – if you're a marquee team, if you you know who's going to affect the game the most. You got an elite pass rusher now. They, and you know they've been looking for that guy. I mean Derek Barnett. They they were looking for him in Derek Barnett. Now clearly, you know the kid plays hard. You know he he does make some you know dumb penalties, but the kid plays hard. But he come on, he's not putting up double digit sacks. Uh, you know that um, uh, Graham is near the end of the road, so a marquee pass rusher, and that's who's going to affect the game the most from the defensive side. Look what know? Aaron Rodgers did. Look what Aaron – I mean, look what Aaron Donald did Come in on. that Buck game. I mean, they, and, and even Von Miller yeah. on the other side of him. I mean, Gary, the, the difference in that ball game for about yeah. three quarters for the Rams and Bucks was because they got pressure on Brady. No doubt about it. They wouldn't let him, they wouldn't let him set up. There were times guys were open. He couldn't get the ball out of there because – their line guys were hurting, and I mean, they couldn't give him any time, and they were relentless. And the thing they were doing is they were rotating too, keeping those guys fresh. But they can affect the game, meaning you can have a guy out there couldn't cover that guy, and getting get close to covering the guy he's on. But you got a pass rush, quarterback can't get him the ball. You know that's that's what it was, and they affect the game. So. That's who you would like to get. They, they're going to be looking for that guy, I think, first of all. Uh, you know, and, and then they, they want to improve probably at the cornerback spot, too. And, at, you know, eventually they're going to have to do something at linebacker, too, because the linebacker position has changed. You need a linebacker that can run. I'm talking about 4-5, four, 4-4. Four, four. he got to be able to run because if he's playing pass coverage, they're going to get him isolated on either back, uh, a, a speedy a running back, a tight end, or sometimes a wide out. So you got to have a, a, a um, an elite linebacker. And the, the best teams have these guys. They're special athletes in there, and they can run and they will tackle. And you need, those, you need a linebacker like that, at least one of them. You'd like to get two. And um, – you'll be able to do something there. But definitely they, they want to get that pass rusher. But what they would really like, what they're dreaming about at night is that franchise quarterback. Oh, no doubt. You, you know what? Somebody <laughs> just mentioned something here. Yeah. And you know what? I, 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 you know, they just mentioned something in the chat over here. And I'm going to throw this at you too because I know you've heard the same thing. Uh -huh. You know, I heard somebody say that Watson made it clear publicly that uh, he doesn't want to go to Philly. Now, I, I checked with that. Yeah. And it's not true from what I understand true. that that's not true because mm -hmm. you got to remember something. Agents and other agents of other teams, they contact media people. Yep. They throw fake news out all the time. That's right. I heard personally from Deshaun's people and from his agent and from Rusty Harden, the person that's working on this case, that everything is on the table right now for that's Deshaun right. Watson and an opportunity to play next year. So yep. whoever reported that, it's not real and it's fake news. Is that what you're hearing? Uh, that's what I'm hearing. Um, that, uh, you know, in fact, I had somebody that uh, told me that last year that, look, he would he would come to Philly. He would go ahead. He wants to play. He would like, he wants to go somewhere where he can play. And so he would come here and he would play. And uh, looking at the situation, the, the thing you elaborated on, which is the fact that the marquee quarterbacks, they're all over there in the AFC, the young ones. 
he would be over here and kind of would shine and he would really ma he would make a difference in a football team, you know, to have a quarterback of, of that status over here when, you know, you got basically the, the best quarterback because, you know, you, you got all these other guys getting older. I mean, Rodgers is getting older. You know, uh, you, you mentioned Brady. Um, same thing with Stafford. All those guys are getting up there. And to have a young elite quarterback, that would really separate you as a football team. And you, you better believe, that these other teams are going to be would like to get them themselves. So, oh, absolutely. I think so, there's going to be a boatload of NFC teams. Yeah, that are going to sign up for him. Let me and, ask and you people something. People are going to say they're going to tread quietly though, because you know they don't want to get oh, yeah. the bad PR and everything. But they're going to have him come in, and you know that he's going to have to do some community service. He's going to have to clean up his act. They're going to do all of that, but they they're going to be willing to do all of that because. Gary, the how they handle Vic? How did the Eagles handle Vic? Bingo. When Vic came into Philadelphia, what was the public relations campaign on how they were able to get – I mean, let's face it. The guy did 18 months in Leavenworth. I yep. mean, it was a horrific crime. Everybody mm -hmm. still to this day kind of holds what he did against him, this and that. How did mm -hmm. the Eagles, as a, as a publicity campaign, how did they deal with Michael Vic when he came into Philly? Well, first thing is they started working before he came into Philly. Huh. I mean, on, on the, what they were going to do and letting everybody know, look, he's going to come in and he's going to do the right thing. And he's going to, uh, you know, do service to the community and, and, and different things. And he's going to genuinely do it. And, and I got to give Michael Vick credit. He's still doing things now. Yes. And, and, uh, and, and that's the way they're going to let Deshaun Watson know that, look, this is the way you're going to have to deal with this. And this is what we're requiring. Meaning like, this is all part of this contract. You're going to have to do a certain amount of community service. And we want you to donate a certain number of dollars for this service and that service, you know, to show that you're genuinely uh, sorry for what you did. I want you to genuinely show people that. And so he's going to have that side and, um, and, and he's going to have to do that. That's the way they did with Michael Vick and, and, uh, and, and it went well. And so look at how Cincinnati, look at how Cincinnati handled Joe Mixon after he broke that woman's jaw in college, and they sat him. Here's a guy that was a superstar in that game with Joe Burrow over yep. the weekend. And if you remember right, he had to do all that uh, that that public relations work in the city of Cincinnati uh, for abuse for women, this and that. And again, it's worked out. If you get the right guy and that's willing to do those things, to me, I think communities will look at it and go like this. Here's a second opportunity. The league's yep. notorious for second opportunities here. That's right. And 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 that's why if I'm Watson. Hey, you know, I got to say, Gary, I don't think there's going to be a ton of – I couldn't see him in San Francisco because, again, it's a snowflake city. You're yeah. not going to put him in a place like that. Yeah. But in a place like Philadelphia, if the guy does the right thing, shows up to work and performs, that's the kind of city that will embrace him, right? Uh, no doubt. I mean, he gonna, they're going to give him a second shot to see him, you know, if he's really cleaned up his act. Uh, and he's going to have to be genuine about it. Uh, but, you know, uh, he does all of that. He gets out on the field. He performs. You know, it'll, it'll take a little while. But you're going to hear mainly them talking about his play as a football player. So he'll get a chance to, to clean up, meaning he's going to get a second shot. And, you know, they've, they've given a lot of people second shots. So that's that's what will happen. But uh, you better believe there are numerous people that are probably working and been around that the Sean oh, yeah. Watson situation quietly, see, people around it quietly. Nobody wants to be – Saying, well, such and such is down here. No, everybody's down there treading quietly. But the talent he has, especially with, your, with the way you say this uh, this league is going, people are interested in Deshaun Watson. Oh, so you would agree. Watch this. I, I would say this to you. What happened last night and over the weekend, is this a fair statement that Deshaun Watson's value raised over the weekend – even with those sidebar stories that are going on, if that's me, Gary, and I'm looking yeah. at hell, if I'm the Patriots, yeah, or I'm any of those teams that don't have one of those dudes like Josh Allen's or Mahomes or Burrow yeah. or you, Herbert or any of those guys, yeah. I'd have to think that Watson's value increased on Sunday night. I, I think so because what I said, which is he's the only one that's available. That's you right. You can't get these other guys. Because any team that's got them is going to lock them up in a contract to where 
They don't even think about letting this guy go. They don't even want to get anybody anywhere near him. They're going to give him a huge contract. It's going to be a long deal, sold up, because when you know you got this, you got a marquee talent, you know that if you want to win, this is what you need. And so uh, an organization knows that if they want to be amongst that elite group, they need one of those guys. And, and now it, it's just showing you that you need one of those guys. I mean, because the level that they were playing at. Unbelievable. I mean, but it, it, it's where the game is now, you know. And you got one of the guys that got that kind of arm talent that can put that ball there and they can make the reads and that one, two, three, and that ball is out there and it's on the money. You know, the, that's that's where the league is at. And those are the special players, uh, the quarterbacks, that uh, they really are running the league right now. Well, how about this, Gary? A guy like Watson could turn Devontae Smith into a 1,200-yard receiving receiver overnight, yeah. couldn't he? That's right. That's right, because they could get into a groove where he could put that ball right there where it's supposed to be, and this kid can get open because he runs those precise routes and so if you got an accurate passer who's able to put that ball right there, yeah, you you would have uh, quite a group right there, you know. And we'll see if it happens. But uh, like I said, you got a lot of things that I would love to be uh, a detective down there around him, saying like, uh, uh, you know, you would be running into people talking, "What are you doing down here? What are you doing down here?" You know? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, f- one last question here for you. Yeah. When it comes to free agency in the draft, final question for you. Yeah. What do you think the Eagles will have more of an emphasis on free agency I, or the draft going into with all the draft more of an assets emphasis on they the have. draft? Uh, but I think on the offensive side, I could see them getting a veteran receiver. You know, a veteran receiver to go with the young kids they got. Uh, I could see them doing uh, somebody that is a uh, would be kind of like a stabilizing uh, uh, asset uh, in the receiver core. I could see them getting one of those guys because you don't want to draft another receiver because they they missed a couple of them, and they got you know, some young kid. Of course, you got, you got Devontae Smith. You got a young talent. Even Quez Watkins with his speed and things, he got some young talent. So it's a matter, I think they would like to get a veteran receiver who they know could come in right away, and they could say, well, boom, that's 60, 70 catches right away. They would like to have that along with Devontae. That would be a nice mix. Absolutely. Gary, I appreciate it, my friend. This is I, – I, I've never seen a divisional round of football like I witnessed over the weekend, walk-off kicks. This is what makes the NFL so great. Yeah. I think the divisional games and the conference title games are usually your best weekends in the NFL. Gary, next week, man, we'll catch up with you again. Thank you so much, my friend. All right, have a good one. You got it. Gary Cobb from Fox 29. Wow. Watson, guys, you know what? I really love Jalen. I hate when I have to preference my next comment like that. I I hate – it's almost like a backhanded slap. You know, I really like the kid, but I don't want the kid. And I don't want to be in a position where I have to have the guy. I want to be in a position where I can go out, okay, and go after the guy I want. Xander goes like this. Stop coddling Jalen Hurts. No, I'm respecting Jalen Hurts. See, a guy puts his ass on the line for you for 15 weeks. I'm a player that looks at people that put their ass on the line like that for you. And play hard. Enjoy playing in your community. Has embraced being an eagle. And I'm just not going to just piss that over and just kick that to the curb because you know why? I see a shiny new lure in the pond. It's not going to happen like that. I respect people for what they do when they put their ass on the line, their blood and guts, their effort, their heart and soul, their passion for their teammates, teammates' passion for him. That's just not something. You see, some media guy could just write that on a pad and think it's just words. When you actually execute that stuff and you watch a guy go out there and put his ass on the line, I'm sorry, man. I just don't look at him as words. I look at him as actions. And Jalen Hurts played his ass off this year. Jalen Hurts played with limited skilled people in many positions on this team, maybe even the coaching. So to me, I don't just dismiss that. 
I'll take that into consideration what the guy did. Okay? I do. That's why when I make a comment about Deshaun Watson, trust me when I tell you, it's a hard one because you know why? Watson is an upgrade. All right. I want to hit more on this because I do think there needs to be an effort by the Eagles to push all their chips in here. And I want to hit on him more. By the way, my list of 13 free agents that I think the Eagles should identify this coming offseason here. We'll do that. Please hit the like button. You keep it right here on the National Football Show.